United Nations Aviation Watchdog International Civil Aviation Organization in its latest safety audit has raised Nepal's air safety score to 70.1% above the global average of 67.2%, terming the aviation sector of Nepal as safe. Good morning, I am Vipashna Tamang and these are the headlines of the hour. Over 100,000 aspirants filed for candidacies for 35,221 positions of the upcoming local level election, ruling alliance parties and CPNUNO main competitors. The International Civil Aviation Organization terms the aviation sector of Nepal safe. Pressure on the European Union to remove Nepal's aviation sector from its blacklist. The board of Twitter agrees to a $44 billion takeover offer from billionaire Elon Musk. And Punjab's Kings defeat Chennai Super Kings by 11 runs in the Indian Premier League. Punjab climbed to the sixth position of the league table. Chennai suffered their sixth loss. Candidacies have been registered at local levels for the local level elections slated for 13th of May. Members and cadres of major political parties had reached election offices throughout the country yesterday with the candidates amidst much fervor. Nominations were filed in all the 753 local levels on Sunday and yesterday within the time frame given by the Election Commission. As of the statistics provided by the Election Commission until 1 a.m. this morning, over 118,000 aspirants have filed for their candidacies for 35,221 positions. Among major parties, Nepali Congress, CPN Mao Center, CPN Unified Socialist, Janata Samajwadi and Rashtriya Janamorcha from the ruling alliance have forged an election equation for Metropolis and Sub-Metropolis. Candidates from the parties for municipality and rural municipality will be competing with one another. CPN UML has stood in the elections as single entity, while Loktantrik Samajwadi Party and Rashtriya Janata Party have forced an alliance in a few constituencies. In our Public Voice segment, we had asked candidates of their local level election regarding their motivation to stand in the polls. Let's take a look at what they had to say. Public Voice. <laughs> Inclusive representation in the candidacies for the upcoming local level election looks feeble. Political parties have given very few candidacies for women, indigenous, minority and Dalit communities. Out of six metropolises, there are women candidates for mayor in only two metropolises. CPN Mao Centre Chairperson Pushpakumal Dahal's daughter Renu Dahal is a mayor candidate for Chitwan and Nepali Congress leader Prakashman Singh's wife Sirzana Singh is a candidate for Kathmandu. The main, main political parties didn't put forward any women candidates for, from the Dalit community for mayor in the metropolises. The parties have, however, selected six women as deputy mayor candidates for the metropolises. Out of the mayor candidates for metropolises, two are from the Madheshi community, while four are from indigenous. Out of the 11 sub-metropolises, women have been given the candidacy for mayor in only five places and deputy mayor in 14. In Dhangadi, Nepali Congress has re repeated its mayor candidate Ripa Wad, who is from the Dalit community. The main political parties have not selected any candidates from the Dalit community in the remaining sub-metropolises. And it's time now for our segment, Public Pulse, where you text us with your opinion. Public Pulse. Here's the question, why have political parties failed to increase inclusive representation for the local level election? The options are option A, difficulty due to alliance, option B, narrow thinking and option C, lack of pressure. The voting is on type NAWS. Select your option A, B or C and send it to 34001 to share your opinion with us. The International Civil Aviation Organization, ICAO, has termed the aviation sector of Nepal safe. 
At a time when the European Union is hesitating to remove Nepal's aviation sector from its blacklist, the report of ICAO has come as a respite. Based on the five-year audit of ICAO, the validation mission has given Nepal a score of 70.1% for effective implementation of safety standards, which is above the world average and the average of the Asia-Pacific region. A 10-member team of ICAO had studied Nepal's aviation sector from 13th and 25th of April. Time now for sports news. Sports news. Nepal women's volleyball team, the two-time defending champions of the AVC Central Zone Championship, are set to feature at the Asian Games for the first time in 34 years since their first international participation. Board meeting of the National Sports Council has decided to include the women's and national volleyball team's participation at the 19th Asian Games set to be held in Hangzhou of China. The participation will be of the highest degree for Nepali women athletes in Nepal sports history. The Nepali Eves are looking forward to the Asian Games as a great opportunity to gather experience as they are set to lock horns with giants Japan, Thailand, China and Iran among other teams. The Nepali women's volleyball team had competed at an international tournament for the first time in Thailand in 1988. That's all for the moment. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.